Es difícil disimular lo que pasa por mi mente cuando te tengo de frente. Yeah. Esas ganas de tocar ese cuerpo lentamente, divertirnos malamente con tu piel. Canción. Baila conmigo, tú no bailas con cualquiera. cualquiera. Hagamos de la fiesta nuestro si en primavera. Ah. No estamos para acordarnos de tanto malos momentos. Estamos para disfrutar y vivir una nueva era. La más loca, la que más se atreve. La envidia de todas las mujeres. Está soltera y también como lo mueve. Esa cosa sí que tiene poderes. Mami, tiene lo que ninguna chica tiene. Tanto lo que no se compara. Mm, la, la, la. Ooh, la 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 love me tonight hey what's going on guys welcome back to my channel now before we get started if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe my channel so you won't miss the next episode today we are exactly seven days out from my first bodybuilding show of this season and we're trying to show you guys just a regular day on a prep so my day starts pretty much me doing a 45 minute ab workout which i do every day i've been training abs with insane intensity for the whole year and it has truly changed my whole midsection area to a whole nother level and after the 45 minute ab workout i have an hour cardio session which i just completed and now i'm eating my first meal of the day which is basically the only meal where i have lots of carbs so what I have is egg whites with rice flakes and a little bit of berries. Just mix those all together, put it in the microwave for two minutes and it's ready. So it's a very fast and efficient breakfast for bodybuilders. Um, after this, I'm going to... Come on, dude. Move. Move, dude. After this meal, I'm going to work a little bit, take a nap, then I'm going to have another meal and then we're getting ready for our shoulder workout, which we're going to do with my friend Mateus. Yeah, that's right. He's coming here. So really looking forward to that. What we're trying to show you guys on this video series is to show you guys the whole experience of doing a bodybuilding show, which includes, you know, this depletion period, which I'm on right now, carb up, athletes meeting, traveling, getting tanned and backstage and all that good stuff. So hopefully this is gonna be a great series. So stay tuned for that one. So now we're gonna finish my breakfast with my parrots. Um, sharing is caring. They really wanna eat the same stuff as we eat so And it's good for them, you know? If you have parrots, you gotta share everything. They will get mad if you don't share and spend a lot of time with them, so you're gonna meet our parrots on this video series as well. This one's name is Book because he's always eating. Then we have Thor, he's the smart one, and then we have the one who's a little bit retarded. Her name is Ulla. This one's the only female one, and she's a she's a special case for sure, but we still love her. She's a little tougher one. But anyways, we're gonna finish the meal, getting ready for the workout, and hopefully you guys enjoy the series. You know, we, we really put a lot of effort and energy on filming these videos, especially during uh, preparation and all the backstage stuff. So thank you guys for watching and stay tuned. Black coffee, it's kind of like a calorie free energy, right? It's a savior of every bodybuilder who's dieting. Here you can see the marks, like the Raleigh marks. <coughs> Here is the guilty one. Daí, buenos dias. Boa tarde. Boa tarde. Oh, falando português aí tudo. Tudo bom? Tá certo? Lindo. Lindo. Mãe, eu quero só para conversar. Ah, é o Pococa Sara, por exemplo. 
Ah, sim, tá fazendo aquele o... cutting, não? Sim, cutting. Ah, bueno, mas aqui, é. Top, top. Muito obrigado. De nada. Tchau. Falou, meu guri. So, our supplement order came in. We got some protein, isolate. We got some NAC. These are good for your health, guys. Be sure to take these to your regimen. Uh, what else do we have? Another one of those? Yep. And then we got some water jugs. Makes water intake a lot easier when you have a water jug next to you all the time because we kind of, you know, have to drink water all the time, all day. Sometimes I like to add something inside, like a little bit of lemon or EAAs just to get in the flavor. And obviously if you mix a pinch of salt uh, with your drinking water, kind of keeps you thirsty all the time. So the water intakes gets easier. So starting from tomorrow, I actually have to start drinking like seven to eight liters a day for the next three days. So, you know, if you forget to drink water for the beginning of part of the day, it's gonna be very difficult to get seven liters in in just a few hours. So. Uh, yeah better the, start in the morning yeah better start right, right in the right morning away. and it's just like uh, this is the part of the prep or part of the contest that I don't really like or enjoy just drinking the water and the carb depletion and adding the high sodium that I have right now so currently I have very little carbs I have like less than 100 grams of carbs a day and for a guy at my size that's basically nothing and then I have high sodium, so I don't feel that great right now. And obviously, like if you look at my shape right now, it's not there yet. But the goal is to peak out for the show. So right now we're having high sodium, high water intake. And then we do that for three days. And then we kind of switch around. We drop the sodium, we add carbs and we start to moderate and limit the water intake a little bit. And this process kind of makes your water in your body to go inside the muscle cell and kind of makes you look more bigger, more drier, more shredded, so. How many times you need to pee? Pee? I don't know, I, like every hour, every hour once I start this process. So yeah, it's just like, the most annoying part is that if you do this, process while you're traveling oh man like if you're on a highway and you gotta stop for a pee for like every hour that really sucks but yeah now i'm gonna start prepping my next meal and then we're getting ready for today's workout this is gonna be basically the last heavy workout of the prep for this contest at least so yeah let's go oh yeah this is the second and third day of the day. So I'm having just some meat. It's clean ground beef, very low fat, and also air fried vegetables. So from Russia. Yeah, pretty much just protein and a little bit of um, fiber in it. I'm gonna change the red meat into white fish and chicken after tomorrow because red meat is kind of heavy for your digesting system and it's not good to have that when you're prepping for a show you want to kind of pull in that meat section so you want to eat things that are easily digestible and also avoid gluten so your meat section kind of gets leaner also i have to stop drinking diet sodas because that blows you out a little bit too but yeah I will add ketchup though, but it's a calorie free ketchup or whatever. And I'm gonna have a post workout banana. Oh, we don't have bananas. We do don't we? have bananas. Fuck my life. Well, I'm gonna figure something out. But yeah, still a couple days with low carbs, feeling great, um, enjoying the process. So let's get this meal in and then we go for the workout. Now, this. Is called a Dopaco. And I'm not a regular smoker, no. <laughs> this is a thing that I, I've been having a habit of adding tobacco to my routine. <laughs> Two weeks out or three weeks out before the shows on every prep. Um, 
Why? Well, there's two reasons. Reason one, it suppresses a little bit your appetite and your hunger, so you don't feel that hungry. So that's good. And the second reason is just the dopamine, you know. So I never had ac actually like a problem stopping using it, or I don't really even enjoy smoking tobacco normally. So this uh, habit that I do before the show. Um, right now. I'm feeling extremely irritated. I don't know if it's the trembolone or the low calories or I've been just pushing my body to the limit for the past month. But if it was up to me, I wouldn't go train today. But it's in the schedule, it's marked. And it's good that I, that I invited my friend Mateus to come here. So he's going to push me through the workout. There are sometimes days when you don't feel like doing it you know even though that I love training and it's my passion even I have those days when I really don't feel like working out you know but I still do them and it's called discipline you know motivation gives gets you so far but you know motivation comes and goes and the discipline takes care of the rest so it's good thing that my friend is coming here to push me through the workout um, the view is amazing, so right now we're just waiting Matthews to arrive, smoking some good tasting cancer. Uh, healthy sport. Yeah, this is a healthy sport, no. Bodybuilding <laughs> as a hobby, training, eating right, that's healthy. But no, I don't think no matter what sport it is, once you go to competitive phase and you do it to the level of extreme sometimes every sport kind of gets unhealthy you know but yeah not feeling it i'm still smiling still smiling guys even though i'm extremely tired let's see if i can get the pump so far on every workout i've been able to get a pump even though i don't have that much of carbs you know I'm pretty much on keto right now but I still get those pumps and so let's see today I don't think we're gonna do posing because like I said I have high sodium and I'm not full I'm flat as fuck right now so I try to not look my body from the mirror because it gives me false image what I look like and I don't want to do any changes to my plan just because right now I might look a little off from the mirror. Did you already make your drink? Yes. Yeah, I did have my pre-workout drink. I have my secret combo, which actually pretty much gives me the pump. So I have this protocol where I have like glutamine, creatine, glucerine, sodium, potassium and other good stuff. That I take an hour before workout and that just pretty much makes my muscles into a fucking vacuum and it just sucks in all the hydration that I have in my body and I think actually that's the reason why I've been getting those pumps even though I don't have that much carbs I'm really looking forward for the carb up now <laughs> but yeah still smiling one week out I'm here baking a bread. I didn't have all ingredients I needed, so I kind of just tried something. So let's see. <laughs> so I really, really, really want it to taste like homemade bread. So let's see. It would be a good post workout too. Again, smoking. You can blow the, blow the smoke from your nose, I can feel. <laughs> Stupid fucks. Yeah, so fucking funny. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> oh shit, I accidentally inhaled it into my lungs. <coughs> Fuck. Yeah. <coughs> Mama is so proud of seeing me do this. Like always, yeah. 
oh man, my bread isn't dead. I gotta have post-workout. I never made a bread actually at home. But it smells pretty, pretty awesome. The day became night and still we are waiting the Brazilians, like always. Oh yeah, it's a Brazilian way. The time doesn't have to be exact. Yeah. That sucks. Alright guys, so while we're waiting my training partner, I'm gonna show you my own gym, which I have in my house. Um, let's start from over here, what we have. So, I didn't feel like training in a public place anymore. So, over here, we have leg press and hack squat combo. You can do both. Then I have a pullover machine, just like the Dorian did. And this is, has been a key machine to build up my lats. My back has just improved insanely since the last competition season. So this is the reason for that. We have some battle ropes. We got some stepping boards, fitness stuff. We have slam balls. These are fun, just, it's not exactly bodybuilding, but sometimes I like to do some mobility stuff, some fitness. We have this multifunctional machine. We can do this as a pec deck. Also, we can pull for the lats, and we can do the other way around for side laterals, real delts, even front, if you want. I usually just use this for lats and side laterals, and actually for pec deck as well. Then we have really old machine. This was the cheapest purchase I did. Um, this is a leg extension and leg curl at the same time, so you can adjust. Let's say like this. Weight stack is insanely heavy. Then we have pull down over here, and we have cable row. Also, this machine has some other functions, like you can do some fucking pressing shit, stuff like this, but I don't really use it for that purpose at all. Then we have glute hamstring raise, right here. Then I have a preacher curb bench. We have seated calf raise machine. We got some mattress for the abs, as you saw earlier on the video. We have a place to put in the bar to do some T-bar rows. We got some different handles for that. Of course, we have the altar where we can do squatting, benching, deadlifting, rack pulls. And for that, we also have chains. So if you want to squat with chains or do bench press with, cha with chains, you can do that. One thing we forgot to show you guys, this is a cool one. We do have a place to do dips, place to do forearms. And I, I, I adjusted the mirror in a way that I can see my back. So I can move the bench around and practice my posing so I can see myself from the mirror. So this is a great tool for bodybuilder when you're trying to improve your posing and you know, overall to check your physique. Then, Oi! Fala Timo! Ah, beleza, irmão? Tá. Ah, eu faço um pouco aqui, mas... Beleza, irmão? Um, then we have... Smith Machine. Um, with crossover station. So we can do... Cable, flies, whatever you want. You know, you, know, you guys know what this is for, so... Um, yeah. Everything you need, and we have dumbbells up to 75 kilos, and then we have wall of fame, so everybody who trains here gets to write their name on the wall. We even have Dorian Yates' name here. That's cool. So, our workout partner finally arrived. Was it cansado, eh? Cansado. Welcome. Good work. Good work. Let's do ombros. Let's go. 
Vozek. Nie, to push. Push, pokud push. Vozek je push, pokud pane sú tady do pejtoja. Primera, pokud to sa pomôžem z dvoch meč, ne? Či paš. Škaj? Zem. Si mi mašin? Is, boja. Vše je riso. Je pelente? Ano, se zrovnajte. Valjujemo. Mais, seis, ah, uh. 
Cadê a minha energia? Oh. Protege? É. Que é a próxima semana meu uh, shape é melhor uh, depois eu fazer Sim, Depo Deus. não depois é eu comer mais carbos né? Sim. vai encher né tá agora Mas eu... muito, muito flat né? você vê flat mas tá muito bom ah. muito denso ah. um pouquinho de carbo Sim. Agora eu retenho muitos cortes, muitas uh, sódio, sal. Uhum. Agora. Aqui tem pouco gordura. Muitas fibras. Tá muito fibrado. Cara, vai ser um pouquinho de carbo, você vai ser mais carbo. Vai dobrar o tamanho. Sim. Um pouco menos água, mais carbos, ah, menos estresse. Está grande, gigante, hein? Sem carbos, gigante, mas Sim. com carbos, Sim. muito grande. Total diferente, né? Acho que é bom. É o leader size. Meu gosto é melhor. Ponto forte. É Natal. Sim. Tô com o bíceps. Vou botar uma estrela. O é meu... Menos pose. Né? É pra você menos pose. Pô, tá muito bom, tio. O trapézio dele faz duas armas, mano. Só aguardar agora encher o carbo. Sim. Mais sal ou menos sal? Agora muito sal. Muito sal. Muito. E com carbo, 30 muito gramas sal, sal. É, não. não. Uma dia com carbo e sal, depois dois dias, três dias. Zero sal. Não, pouco. Pouco. Muito pouco. Acho que eu, eu acredito que uh, água não é o meu problema. Não. Uhum. Agora. Mas é o preparação para cinco meses, cinco semanas. Cinco semanas, cinco. muito rápido. É. Shape muito bom. Ah. Uma, Mas tem é. muita maturidade muscular, né? Sim. É diferente também, tá ligado? Tá, tá. Quantos quilos? Um, 99, uns 900. 99? É, e... Acho que é, depois carbos é. Mais 4, 6 quilos, mais ou menos. Boa. Acho que é bom. bom. Para Curitiba é muito melhor. Você ganhar em Curitiba? Sim. Porque Curitiba é duas semanas depois. E vai estar mais cheio, né? Vai estar flat. Vai estar muito bom. <risos> É. Muito obrigado, irmão. irmão. Tamo junto. Eu que agradeço. Treino na caverna aqui. Oh, nós temos uma festa. Jos me sanon näitä elovena kaurahiutaleita 100 grammaa päivässä, niin se on 23 senttiä, mitä se kustantaa mulle. Mutta jos mä vaihankin sen kotimaisiin hiutaleihin, niin nopeasti se hinta tippuukin 
13 senttiin. Eli mä säästän sieltä, wow, 10 senttiä ateria. Mutta nämä alkaa kertymään pikkuhiljaa. Käydään toisia tuotteita läpi. Sen ajan mä säästän 109 euroa ja 20 senttiä pelkästään näillä viidellä artikkelilla. Ehkä. Niin mun aamupala maksaa 2 euroa 53 senttiä. Kaikkein tehokkain liike huoltamaan sun keho, lisäämään liikkuvuutta, lämmittää sun keho ennen jalkareenia tai jopa ennen selkäreenia. Ja yritetään koko ajan saada kantapäätä niin tuonne maahan, koska nyt jos sulla on huono liikkumus, sun kantapää nousee ilmaan. Ennen kuin päästään itse liikkeiden pariin, käydään aina läpi kyseisen lihasryhmän parhaimmat mahdolliset lämmittelymetodit. Musta tulee paljon voimakkaampi. Mä aktivoin mun lihashermostoa näillä liikkeillä. Joten siis kiertää kalvosimet, olkapäät, ojentaja on aktivoitu, rintalihasta on aktivoitu. Mä en haluais painaa välttämättä meidän rankaa ja välilevyjä sisäänpäin. Mä luulen, että se on yksi syy, minkä takia voi ihmiselle paljon tulla välilevypullistumia. Tämä harjoite yksinkertaisesti tekee suusta paljon vahvemman. Sä pääset pikkusen parempaan asentoon tämän liikkeen ansiosta, jonka takia sä tulet olemaan paljon vahvempi.